What is up everybody? My name is Jaden Tolliver. It is time for another video. Very happy to see all your smiling faces and people tuning in to watch my videos. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate you. Um, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And after you subscribe, please hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload a video. All right, now with all that being said in a very timely manner, let's get into the video. So last week, of course, I did my what's in my camera bag video. A lot of people do them. You know, I was really iffy on if I should do it because it's like, oh, you're copying the people. But, you know, I did it. Um, I had a couple people asking me what I use, um, what equipment I use, what kind of cameras, lenses and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I would just answer the question. So I did. Um, but as promised in the last video, today I'm going to be doing a review on my lights now I only have one set of lights but they do pretty much all I need right now for what I do um, they are the Viltrox L132T lights um, they basically look like this this is like the light panel in here I don't know if you can see that it's gonna focus on that hey it did awesome so um, basically what it comes with this is just the light panel itself um, it looks like that. And you get the light panel itself. I'll just drop something. You get your light panel, which isn't the biggest in the world, but um, they are bright for the size. Um, they're a little bit cheaper than aperture lights, um, but I think for what you're paying, you're getting quite a bit of quality. Um, of course, on the back, you have a, a slot for your battery. You have your on and off switch, of course. Your 12-volt, uh, I believe. Yeah, 12-volt uh, power. And then you have a screen here because this light uh, allows you to change your brightness and your color temperature, which is very, very cool. Um, of course, on the, on the bottom, you have your quarter 20-inch screw if you want to put it on a tripod or a light stand. Speaking of light stands... It comes in this handy dandy long box. It's pretty dope. Um, you know, they're decent light stands um, for what I have to do. Um, they're not as good as C stands, obviously, but they're pretty good. Um, you know, you sandbags are pretty sturdy. Um, it also comes with this really cool, like, adapter thing that you can mount onto your camera, like I'm doing with this other one that I have. Um, also it allow if you loosen this up, it allows you to actually tilt the light if you need to, if you need to do some bouncing off the ceiling or something, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty, pretty dope. Um, and of course, if you don't have batteries, I have a battery for this one, so I don't have to have this, but it comes with your power. Of course, they're not very long. Um, I mean, it's, it's long enough, but I would definitely keep some, some stingers around. Um, if you don't know what a stinger is, it's an extension cord. Um, but you know, they get the job done. Uh, of course they're not aperture lights. They're not the, you know, the brightest in the world, but they get what I need done. And I've used them for video. I've used them for photography. Um, this light that I have now isn't all the way at its brightest. Let's see, I think. And then of course that's brightest. And then I can get dimmer and dimmer and then I can also change the color temperature I'm not sure if you can, oh yeah y'all can see that <laughs> um, so it's it's pretty handy um, I love them um, if you guys are interested in these lights I will link them below so you can check them out um, I got one on Amazon pretty cheap um, but if you're in need for some lights and don't have the most money in the world to spend these are definitely worth it um, I've used them a lot um, we used them on a, uh, a short film we did a couple uh, months ago on another one that I was helping with. Um, and they, they got the job done. They're really, really, really cool lights. And I really, I suggest them. They're really cool. Um, like I said, guys, um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Uh, let me know if you are enjoying these. And please subscribe. If you're into that kind of stuff, you should do it, please. 
Um, but until next time, I will see y'all later.